Meet Emma. She is a middle schooler who likes biology and loves to play soccer with her friends. She is also a member of her local Girl Scout troop. Today, she is going to learn about blood and the importance of blood donation. Hi, are you ready to learn about blood together? Blood is a fluid made up of tissues that flows through your circulatory system. The circulatory system is made up of vessels that carry blood from all over your body to and from your heart, providing you with nutrients and oxygen while removing carbon dioxide and fighting infections to keep you healthy. Oh no, does anyone have a band-aid? Did you know that there is more to your blood than when you get a cut or a scrape? There are multiple components of your blood. Let's zoom in on Emma's cut. In veins, there are four different parts that make up blood. The red oval shapes are your red blood cells. They work with your lungs to carry oxygen to all parts of your body. Then there are white blood cells. They fight foreign invaders and infectious diseases. They are making sure that the dirt in Emma's scrape doesn't get infected and they help your immune system so you don't get sick. Next are your platelets. They help your blood clot to help stop bleeding. This is why you get a scab. Your platelets are on the move. All of these cells are in the liquid part of your blood called plasma. Plasma makes up over half of the blood's total volume and it works like a river to transport all of these different components all around your body. Now let's meet Emma's dad, Fred, as he comes home from work. Fred works in the city and likes to volunteer in the community in his free time. Hi Emma, how was your day? It was great, Dad. I've been learning about how blood helps your body. It even fixed my cut at my soccer game. Oh, that's great. Glad you're okay. And you know, that reminds me, I made an appointment to donate blood today. Be back in an hour. One of the ways Fred volunteers is by being a blood donor. He gives whenever he is healthy and able, every 56 days. Here he is arriving at the local blood center. Once he is there, he goes to the desk to check in. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm the manager here. How can I help you? Hi, Mary. I have an appointment to give blood. Oh, great. Come with me. Mary works in donor services at the blood center. It is her job to oversee the phlebotomists, which are the people who take your blood. She trains these medical professionals on how to take blood and gets to meet lots of volunteer donors every day. Wow, didn't hurt at all. You're right, Fred. A lot of people are surprised that it doesn't hurt to give blood. It hurts more to stub your toe than it does to donate. It only takes him five to 10 minutes to donate blood. Next, Fred's donation will go to a lab where tests are done to make sure that the blood is safe. Dad, did they take all your blood? Are you okay? Oh, I'm okay, Emma. <laughs> they only take a little bit of it. And since I'm healthy, my body will easily replace what I donated. I want to donate blood. Well, you can when you turn 16, Emma. Huh. How can I help before then? Hmm. You know, we could set up a blood drive in the community. We can invite the neighbors and my friends from work so they can give and help other people too. And you can have your friends help. Let's go to the Blood Center's website to learn more. Yay, I'll bring it up on my next Girl Scout meeting. As Emma and her dad research how to set up a blood drive in their community, Lindsay, the director of hospital relations at the blood center, gets a call from the hospital requesting more blood donations be sent to the hospital to treat patients. Lindsay and others at the blood center work with hospitals in our community to make sure they have enough blood on their shelves to treat patients, including right here in your hometown. Hello? Yes, thanks to our volunteer blood donors, we have plenty of blood to send to you. The blood is taken in a van to the local hospital. Once it is there, it is taken into a special storage room where it is kept until it is needed or for 42 days. This is Alicia. She has cancer. It has weakened her red blood cells so the other cells in her body are not getting enough oxygen, which makes her feel worse. The doctor suggests a blood transfusion. That means they will take the blood that someone has donated and transfuse it to Alicia's bloodstream to help her feel better. The blood transfusions will strengthen her red blood cells and help her body stay strong so she can fight cancer. Emma's Girl Scout troop organized a blood drive at their community center. Fred donated and brought his friends from work so they could give too. Here are some more fun facts about blood. 
There are eight different blood types, and when people donate blood, it must be compatible to someone who has the same or similar blood type to help them. Every two seconds, someone in the world needs blood. We talked about how blood saved the life of one person, Alicia. Really, when someone gives blood, it could be separated into platelets, plasma, and red blood cells. Blood cannot be created. So we need those who are healthy and 16 or older to donate to help people who need it. We need people of all ages to put on blood drives in their communities so people can donate blood. You can do this at a business, at a school, or at any local building. You can even donate blood on a bus. Thanks for learning about blood donation with me today. To learn more about how to give blood or how to put on a blood drive in your community, visit us at bloodcenter.org.